What's up, everybody? Mobed here, and today we're going to look at a piece of hardware. Why not, man? Why the fuck not? We're going to be going over the Nudge. The other side. Got a cool little logo on it. Yeah. The Nudge RDA uh, by Watofo and designed or in partner or whatever with uh, Matt from Suck My Mod. And there's the box. Box is pretty nice, actually. Actually, what Tofa's been doing really good on their packaging. Um, what else do you get in here? You get a uh, punch head adapter. It's in there. <laughs> you get a cool screwdriver. That's what people do, right? They go over. I think there was some cotton in here that apparently I already used, some coils. And spare parts bag. And with, let's see. Is there a squonk pin in there? Yeah, it looks like there's a squonk pin in there. They come pre-installed, or is that just an extra? Maybe there is no squonk pin with this. I don't remember. Oh, apparently the squonk pin comes pre-installed. I didn't realize that. But anyways, I've had this for about three weeks now, and um, yeah, there's some things I really like about it, and there's some things I don't really like about it. So I think it's a good one to go over. And then, you know, obviously nobody's sending me RDAs or nothing, so I'm just going over shit that I buy myself. <clears throat> but. It's good. Um, it actually hits good, and the flavor in it's really nice. Um, I like the way it vapes. I like the way it vapes. It comes down to building on it. That kind of gets to me. So right now I just have a couple, yeah, I know, round wire, just some 22 gauge Canthal in there right now. Um, you see, I mean, it's been pretty good. Ramps up almost instantly. But yeah, flavor on is actually pretty good. Uh, airflow's not too bad. I almost wish the airflow was a little bit more restricted because like I have it turned down pretty high right now, like almost halfway, um, and especially because I'll show you guys the deck, and you know you really can't fit huge co coils in it. So I kind of wish like maybe there's a little less airflow. But um, yeah, I mean you can turn it around, turn it down, and everything. So let's go ahead and screen share real quick. So if I pick this up from Element Vape, I usually that's usually the first place I go to buy stuff is Element Vape. Just their prices are awesome. You know they don't sponsor me. They've never sent me anything. Well, they did one time because they screwed up my order and they took care of it like that and sent me a free vape map. But, you know, but I'm not like connected with them anyway. Anyways, but I just like using them. Um, so anyway, so here's, so yeah, 1995. I mean, 20 bucks, man, you really can't beat it. I think it's a good looking, like, I think it's pretty nice looking. Uh, I like the style of it. It's kind of contemporary looking, you know, a little modern. Um, even like the, let's see, there's one where you could see the, the writing there we go yeah see even the even the text is kind of like kind of futuristic looking i don't know i like it i think it looks good um yeah obviously i have the green one but here's the deck um so now the deck works is you know you put a lead through here a lead through here your coils kind of right here and the same thing on this side um what i wish they would have done because of the way i wrap i wrap coils kind of backwards for most people not with my left hand but i found out why it's because of the way I start, because I like I wrap my coils like up, and then I guess a lot of people wrap them the other way. But I don't know because of the way I naturally wrap my coils. Like if I'm just not even thinking about it, um, my leads are in the wrong spots. So, so like last time yesterday, I rebuilt on this, and I think I had to make like four coil, like four extra coils, because I kept wrapping it the wrong way. Because I was like, I was in a Zoom chat and just like talking with with uh, like Mark Senior, and then like I just kept screwing up the way I was wrapping it. But anyway, so I kind of wish like he would have put another post like right here and right here. So that way you could have done it either way. You know, I think that would have been cool, but you know, um, and then I, I thought it would be a lot easier to get the coils in there. You got to kind of like force them in there a little bit. And then like, sometimes you got to kind of bend the leads a little bit. To get, I don't know. It's not like the most difficult thing to build on, but it's not the easiest thing to build on. And as you can see, there's not a lot of space for each coil. So you're looking at like you, maybe fit a three millimeter coil in there depending on what type of coil it was 
Like if it was too big or something, like even at three millimeters, it's not going to fit. But like round wire, you probably fit a three millimeter, or else you're looking at like a two and a half millimeter. Um, so, you know, so that's going to be a con for some people. I don't really mind. I don't, I don't really like, you know, I'll pretty much vape on whatever. Um, what else about it? So, yeah, so the build deck, uh, I think, I know there's a 22 millimeter that I think was single coil. And it just seemed, you could tell this was designed originally as a single coil. I think it would have been honestly cool to just do the 24 millimeter deck and then single coil because then you could have fit, okay, I mean, if it was just like these two, or maybe like one on each side, you know, like I said, so you could wrap the coil either way. And then without the middle, you know, just like one of these was a positive and one was a negative. Um, yeah, you could fit like massive. It could have just been like a massive single coil RDA. And I think that would have been pretty cool, but um, but it's not bad. All right. Stop sharing that. All right. But anyways, um, overall, I, I do enjoy it. I think for 20 bucks, it makes it worth it. You know, if it was like 30 or 40 bucks, like, uh, which I think probably when it first came out, it was a little bit more expensive, but now it's only 20 bucks. So it's worth 20 bucks. And like I said, once it's built, it's just mostly the building on it that I don't like. But um, once I have it built, I like vape it on it. Yeah. Flavor is really nice on it and everything. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. Wow. Hardware review. Weird. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, um, easily mix repeat, you know, like, and subscribe. Be good to each other. I'll talk to y'all later.